Hi, this is Vanessa DeBerlay and welcome to my channel, Affiliate Marketing Mastery, where you can learn to earn a passive income and do it all guilt-free. Today we're going to talk about avoiding certain behaviors when you're doing your email marketing. Now, email marketing, very quickly, I'll explain that because that's not what this video is about, but email marketing is when you start to market people through email. And you know yourself that you might see an, uh, an ad and it might say, oh, just click here and we'll give you the free checklist on how you can lose 10 pounds in 30 days. And you're like, yes, I want that. Well, when you click it, it's gonna say, wait a minute, give me your email address, okay? You give your email address, you get your free thing, and then you're on an email marketing list. And that's what that's all about. So if you have decided to do online marketing, affiliate marketing, anything online, um, there's all kinds of different businesses you can get into. You definitely want to use email marketing as part of your strategy for selling to your audience. But there are some behaviors you want to avoid when you're sending out emails, and we're gonna go over six of them, okay? The first behavior that you want to avoid when you're sending an email and you can look at this yourself. When you get emails, start paying attention. Instead of seeing them as annoying and I don't want all these emails and I'm gonna unsubscribe, get the emails and start following people that you like what their subject lines look like. You like how they communicate and model those behaviors. One of the behaviors you don't want is needy. You do not wanna act like you have to have the sale, that you're needy and you want it. But some people, they don't really act like they're needy, but they try to act like they're not needy. Does that make sense? And they come across as pretty desperate and needy. So nobody tries to be needy. Nobody tries to be uh, desperate, but sometimes by trying not to be, you come across that way. Just be natural. Just offer whatever it is that you have, the answer to a solution, uh, to a problem that they have. You want to give them the solution to that problem. And you don't have to be needy. If they take it, great. If they don't want it, that's okay. Because you're in the business of helping people solve problems. Think of that. So don't come across as needy. Don't make exaggerated claims in your emails. Um, like you're, you will earn $1,000 a week. You can earn $1,000 a week, but I doubt if anybody will earn $1,000 a week just learning how to do affiliate marketing in their first week. There's a lot of behind the scenes work that has to be done and a lot of learning of skills that have to be done first. So that's kind of exaggerated in my opinion. All right, the next one is coming across as being sleazy. Um, I should have put a picture of a used a car salesman. I think sometimes they come across as being too pushy, um, telling you how wonderful you look in that car and it's the most perfect car in the world and you fall for it and then you get it home and it's a piece of crap. Um, so don't be pushy. Just because you believe in that product or you believe in something or it's worked for you, it's not going to be the best answer for everybody and I, I say that especially in the healthcare industry why are there so many different programs why are some people successful and some aren't because different people are successful with different plans and it doesn't mean yours is any better or any worse um, you don't have to be pushy um, maybe it was the best thing for you but it's not the best thing for everyone so just share it naturally of, of all the nice neat things it's done all the testimonials and then let that person decide. The next one, you don't wanna be manipulative. And this is very important. You keep hearing how it's good to have a sense of urgency in your subject line, and that is true, but you don't wanna be sudden and unnecessary urgency. You don't wanna be fake about it. Say, you know, you only have 24 hours when in, in reality, they have more than that. Um, I know I sent out an email a month ago that they did have just 24 hours to respond. Whatever it was that I was offering was going away. So it was a true urgent subject line and I did have a lot of people click it, but when they opened it, they saw the truth that it really was gonna be gone. So make sure you're not manipulating when you have your head headline like that. Make it be honest. You don't want to come across as cheap either. Um, you you want to make sure that whatever product that you're offering in your email or whatever you're offering in your email is um, not, you don't pre-qualify it um, as, as just being cheap, if that makes sense. When you start saying, you know, yours is the cheapest, then it makes people think, well, it must be the cheapest, if that makes sense. Um, you, you don't want to overprice things, but you want to be careful about coming across as cheap as well. Um, so be careful there. 
All right, we've got two more. One is far-fetched. It's like too good to be true. And if you can read those two little birds, stop your video now. And the one says, what is the opposite of far-fetched? And the bird on the right will give you a lots of different words. I'm going to bend over and read it. But she says, believable, plausible, realistic, likely, possible, credible, probable, imaginable, natural, and reasonable. That is the opposite of far-fetched. Far-fetched means it's too good to be true. Like there's there ain't no free lunch. There's no magic pills you know, make sure what you're offering is realistic. And here's the last one. You don't want to be shady. You don't want to come across as um, unethical or legally questionable. Okay. So um, make sure that you follow those six um, behaviors. You avoid all six of them and you shouldn't have any problem. Before you go, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up if this was helpful to you. And I do have a couple of auto responders that you can use if you would like. There's Active Campaign Actionetics. Um, Either one of them are great for starting your email marketing. They both have great training. And as a little bonus, I put my affiliate marketing mastery challenge training and you can see the cost there. You can hit that link as well. Thumbs up.